good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into some brand new WWE Elite action figure fix-ups that you guys will be able to do with some upcoming WWE action figures that we're going to be getting going into this year. It's mainly a lot of those figures that we got revealed the other day. You guys know the big reveal day where we got all these epic looks at these new figures, Elite 85, Ultimate Edition 8 fan takeover figures. I'm going to run through some figures that we got shown off and I'm going to show you guys some fix-ups that you may want to do on your figures or just some to think about. Maybe you guys can let me know some of the ones you're thinking of down in the comment section below. But I think we got some pretty good stuff going on, guys. Let's go ahead and just dive right into it. Let's start off with Elite Series 85 and dive into Elite 85 Carrion Cross or Killer Cross, whatever the hell you want to say. But starting off with Killer Cross, guys, obviously to me, this figure just looks too tall to me. Like, he doesn't have Johnny Gargano syndrome that is legit tall kick pads those are not you know the short Johnny Gargano kick pads he has really really long lower legs like it looks like they gave him regular lower legs like you would find on like a Cody Rhodes or a Bo Dallas or a Rusev or a Kurt Angle but they are painted black and then at the end of that leg they plugged in regular AJ Styles kick pads so his legs are are very long they're very long legs right here and I think I definitely need to switch them out I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly but I think I'm either going to switch them out with like lower legs from like Miz or something or or AJ Styles or somebody like that that has the black color like that that way you know it doesn't it, you don't see the skin tone or whatever but I just feel like this is too tall it, it may end up being too short once we switch it but that's a risk I'm willing to take I just think he looks too tall I don't know what it is he's definitely too tall at least he looks like in my opinion I think he's supposed to be 6'4 so hopefully that would fix the problem and everything regardless of the fact I think this figure looks really good outside of that the entrance coat the head sculpt all of that I'm not a big and cross guy but definitely need to fix this figure up and we will do so on action figure surgery next up guys we have elite 85 alistair black now now that i'm looking at this i cannot remember why the hell i put him on here to be honest with you but one thing i have noticed is that his tattoo goes over his wristband right here and i don't know if that's why i put him on here but if you look at his oh yeah now, now i now i remember on the uh, specifically the chase variant alistair black regardless paint over the right wristband you see the right long forearm band right there his tattoo goes over it a little bit gonna have to paint that in black so it doesn't bother me but regardless of the case if you have a couple of this figure you have one of these figures and you want to change out the attire make it a little bit differently I would say putting some white knee pads on here with two black kick pads or taking off these kick pads and the knee pads and putting on just solid black on both knee pads and then white kick pads like solid white kick pads to tie into the graphic on the back of the trunks would be really cool. I think that'd be a really badass fix up. I don't know if I would do that if it was just my first version, but if I got two of the Chase variant Alistair Black, I feel like the Chase variants aren't that hard to find, at least. Like, if you really want one, you can hunt it down, I'm pretty sure. It's not like the AEW figures where you gotta put down a damn house payment, take out a mortgage loan just to pay for a damn Chase variant. So, I think this is gonna work out. I think this fix up's gonna work out, guys. But let's move on. We have Elite 85 Undertaker. Now, this one I like a lot. I like this figure a lot. First of all, if you wanted to switch out this head sculpt with maybe his his old, you know, American Badass Undertaker, if you wanted to switch this head sculpt out with the Elite 79, you could do one of those. If you want to put one of the younger Taker head sculpts on here, I think that would be badass. But one thing that I'm thinking about doing is taking these gloved hands. You guys know that they gave him the regular Undertaker gloved hands. They didn't give him solid black gloves or give him new molded gloves like Gold Dust or Rey Mysterio or any of those figures. They have him with the regular Undertaker hands. So one thing you could do is you could either sand down the knuckles where the gloves meet the fingers that way it would like be flush and be one solid thing and look like gloves all the way or you could just switch the hands out completely with a figure that has came with gloves before that we have interchangeable hands for or solid black hands I no figures are really coming to my brain off the top of the dome but that is something you could do I think elite 63 Kane has that I know there's more than that it's just not coming in my head right now but that is something that I would totally do either sand down the gloves a little bit or you could actually put in regular Undertaker interchangeable hands to give him the fingerless glove look. There's a lot of different variations you do here. A lot of different head sculpts you could do, but I really like this figure. I can't wait to get this one in the hand. Hopefully the torso is not super hard to pose around, and I may, if I get an extra one, I may cut the vest off, see what he looks like under there, see what we got going on. I could always re-glue it, or I could just leave it that way and see what we got going on. But nonetheless, there is the Elite 85 Undertaker, and that is what I'm thinking for fix-ups on that one. Next up, guys, is Becky Lynch. Now, this is something that I'm really, really intrigued by. Because there's either going to be one of two things that's going to happen. Either, first of all, we're going to be able to pop out the shoulders like on the Ultimate Editions. I highly doubt that they're tooling new shoulders and arms. 
So I would guess that these shoulders are going to pop out like on our Ultimate Editions. And if that is the case, Brad, that means that you'll be able to pop these arms out, pop these shoulders from her Ultimate Edition in here with the jacket on there, and you could put her, her vest on there from that Ultimate Edition as well to give her a jacket look, and that would be super badass. I would love to see that take place. Hopefully that is something we'll be able to do. And outside of that, I might put on some knee pads of some sort. I feel like putting on her knee pads from the Ultimate Edition after that would be fire. But I do like her yellow stripe like Kill Bill attire, so I'm not sure exactly. And then you could also put on her ponytail head sculpt that I have on my Ultimate Edition right now. But I really like my Ultimate Edition the way it looks. It's just got super duper loosey-goosey legs that I'm trying to fix right now as well. So I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do with this Becky Lynch. But having the double jointed arms, having the ability to interchange those, that is going to be a game changer. The only thing this thing's still missing is the ankle pivot. we got to get the ankle pivot in here and then it'll be an Ultimate Dandy. Just because you gave us double jointed arms doesn't mean I'm not going to look at the ankle pivot, Brad. Next up, guys, we have another Ultimate Edition series talk. We got Ultimate Edition 8 Kane. What? Where the f*** did I get Kane from? That's Edge! Why did I say Kane? I don't know. Anyways, Ultimate Edition Series 8 Edge. Got the Royal Rumble return gear. I don't know what it is, but this torso just looks wonky to me. I think that we're definitely going to switch out this torso with the Elite 23 Cesaro torso. Switch on these arms still so he has the double jointed arms and everything like that. I will lose the ability to put the jacket on there, but I'll just get a separate one to make a jacket accessory one. And that won't bother me that much. So I may have to grab two of them. If I can, I'll try and grab three of them. I feel like this figure is going to be really hard to get. As soon as I see it in stock, as soon as I see it on Amazon, I'm going to try and grab two or three of them for sure just so I can get these different fix-ups in here and stuff it just looks really plain Jane to me like the way the body looks compared to the arms and the legs it just looks a little bit weird to me it's not wide enough and I feel like that's the problem with a lot of Ultimate Editions. But you could also switch on his... You could take this head sculpt. You could take the Screaming head sculpt. Put it on your Elite 83. Vice versa. Put the Elite 83 on this figure. Put this entrance coat over there. A lot of different stuff we can do. But that is what I'm planning on doing. They also fixed the elbow pads, you guys noticed, compared to the Elite 83. Next up, guys, we have the two-pack Elite set of Triple H and Jeff Hardy. Now, the thing for me is a lot of people were saying this Jeff Hardy head sits a little too low. I don't think we can see that quite yet. I think we have to wait until we get it in hand or see better images because I don't feel like you get a straight on nice image of this two pack but I mean this, this is endless like you could do all kinds of stuff with this you could put taped legs on your Triple H you could take this head sculpt off put on the one that I really like the pissed off I know this is more of the era the early 2000s Triple H with the head sculpt and stuff but you could still interchange some Ultimate Edition head sculpts you could put this red haired Jeff Hardy on a different head you could take this mesh shirt off put it on other Jeffs like modern Jeffs you could put it on older Jeffs it comes with a necklace as well you could put this jersey on some fix up Hardys. So the possibilities are really endless with this Jeff Hardy, with this Triple H, especially the Jeff Hardy. Like all the different head sculpts you can do with the red hair and the mesh shirt and the different body and the jersey. I mean, it is literally like every, like you can do so many, like so many with different head sculpts and stuff and we're going to get into all that and hopefully I'll be able to buy a few of these. I definitely don't want just one of this figure. I want a ton of them. So I hope that is possible. Next up guys, we have the Fan Takeover X-Pac figure or Sean Waltman and this one actually is one that I didn't really think about but I think is super badass. If you did a head swap with his Elite 33 figure, the X-Pac figure in the DX gear, how sick would that be? This head sculpt on that figure and that figure's head sculpt over here like vice versa just doing a head swap between the two would be really badass I think and I think that would be really really cool. Another thing you possibly could do is put these kick pads on like fantasy gear guys you know like make an NWO AJ Styles or, or something crazy like that. You could probably enter change some of those things just some things that are coming in my brain obviously i also noticed that we didn't get a shirtless pick does this guy have the seth rollins torso or does this guy have the daniel bryan torso i did not see that i don't have an image of that for some reason i can't remember now as i'm seeing it nonetheless i think this head sculpt looked great it's got the bandana and everything and i think if you wanted to get really crazy i don't know how well it would work but maybe if you could get rid of the beard you may be able to put it on a one two three kid so that's something to think about as well now the last figure that we have for you guys is going to be the fan takeover randy orton now this this one's one that I'm really, really excited about. Okay, all you have to do to make this guy a modern Randy Orton is torso swap it and arm swap it. 
Obviously, just get rid of the whole upper half of the figure and replace it with a modern Randy Orton. So the Elite 78, the Elite 67, any of those Randy Orton figures, that would work perfectly because then you'd have all the tattoos on the arms. You'd have the tattoos on the shoulders where the, you know, the skulls on the shoulders where his modern tattoos are. And then an updated head sculpt would look absolutely brilliant. I mean, you could honestly leave this head sculpt on there because his, ha his, his hair's looked like this before with all his tattoos and modern look and stuff. But with the black tape, with the tattoos, with the updated head sculpt on these trunks, woo boy, that is going to be fire. So I think that would be excellent. This is also based off his WrestleMania 20 attire. And this black blue is a little bit too light compared to that actual gear. I feel like it was more like a navy-ish color, but not the biggest deal in the world. He actually matches the Intercontinental Championship if you guys noticed that, but that is a figure I'm really, really looking forward to fixing up and everything like that. But I think that is all the fix-ups that I have for you guys today, at least off the top of my dome. We also have some WWE figure news. I don't know if I'm going to cover it today or tomorrow or what. Maybe we'll get more leaks and stuff like that. Maybe we can get that in here and everything like that, whatever the hell's the case, and I don't know the rules about breaking news and videos and all that stuff brad i just deal with it build a bridge but anyways guys before we get out of here let's get into our random shout out and this shout out is going to go to luffy d yami who says honestly didn't care for this figure before even seeing the actual pictures of the figure talking about the nwo cena and i was the same way you know i, I really wasn't really looking forward to it like yeah it's cool whatever but uh, i think main elite line figure would have been better than a ringside exclusive for sure and i think i'm in the same boat as luffy right here so huge shout out to luffy d for the comment Huge shout out to you, bro, for that comment. I appreciate every comment that we get. If you want a random shout out in a video, guys, leave us a comment, like the video, subscribe, turn on the bell, leave a like, all the good stuff, and you can earn a future shout out in a future video. But I'm about to eat some lunch. I think I was still recovering from the god awfulness yesterday, so I slept in a little bit today, so I do apologize for that. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh... Don't cross the line.